I think that uh, without human rights defenders doing their work, it's impossible for either national or international agendas for human rights to be in any way feasible or uh, effective. In addition, I think that because the world has now become a place where so many conflicts are taking place, human rights defenders working in conflict areas are also very much at risk. They are threatened both by state as well as non-state uh, forces. And I, I do believe that it is a part of the duty to protect of states to ensure that human rights defenders can work both with facility and with safety. We could not think of human rights realization and implementation without the role of human rights defenders. They have been coming up in many countries of the world, ne nearly everywhere. Working on, as a human rights defender in the area of LGBTI rights is particularly challenging because this is a very sensitive topic in Uganda. Homosexuals are not very popular people in my country and so are basically taken as second class citizens. So standing up for the rights of a minority group is in itself, you can imagine, a very dangerous thing to do. Ranging from being uh, assaulted, to being arrested without any reason, to being uh, kicked out of your house by your landlord. So it, it's, 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 a, it's a hard task, it's an uphill task. Yeah. Shelter City Project is a project where we invite human rights defenders who are at risk to come for, let's say, three to six months to the Netherlands and to do, as we call it, rest and respite. If you are a human rights defender and you work in a country like Pakistan, you will have a lot of challenges when it comes to the government when you take up issues like women's rights or minority rights. The government is very critical of you and then sometimes you need some time to, uh, to get out of this country, to, to have a rest, to maybe learn about how you can deal with this pressure in a more effective way. And that is why it's so important that um, cities in the Netherlands um, join uh, our project. Uh, and I think that uh, Maastricht as a city, but also uh, a city that has a strong history when it comes to a university, that has a strong history when it comes to human rights and uh, uh, standing up for human rights, um, that it would be uh, ideal for a city like that uh, to, to join a project like uh, the Shelter City Project.